Traditional fermentation is, for example, the making of wine and beer or German sauerkraut. And today, we extended fermentation and we use it to produce chemicals with the help of microorganisms. Usually, fermentation uses renewable raw materials and it's quite similar to chemical productions in production plants as it takes place in steel vessels. Biotechnology in general is really a rising technology. And not only we as BASF, but our customers see that this is really one of the technologies of the future. Because with fermentation, you can use bio-based renewable raw materials, even CO2 from off gases as feedstock to generate valuable chemicals. We have a team of biochemists, bioinformaticians, engineers and chemists Bioinformatics is a very important part of the whole process from the start to the finish. Even before we pick up a pencil, we look at the possible synthesis routes, possible hosts with our bioinformatics team. Bioinformatics is computer algorithms that help you find data or patterns inside of biological data to make the right choices which experiments to do next. R&D, especially in the biology area, can't work anymore without digitalization. The amount of data that's there and the amount of possibilities, a human cannot go through the data anymore. Or microbes are to me like a little very perfectly organized factory where you put your raw material, your sugar, for example, in and you get your product out. Fermentation processes are already working on an industrial scale today. Um, BSF has several sites with several hundred thousand liter scale fermenters running, making products that we sell, for example, Escalis, the plant protection product. In Escalis is a new insecticide uh, against piercing and sucking insects. And it is applied in specialty crops and in row crops like soybean, cotton and wheat, for example. In Escalis is based on fermentation Without biotransformation, it would be nearly impossible to produce this molecule. There's actually two things that drive our customers at the moment. One is climate change, and the second one is circular economy. How can we get from a linear business model to a circular business model? One idea is to introduce more renewable feedstocks into our value chain. And here the idea is that with biotechnology, platform molecules are produced also in a larger scale. So not only specialties, but also really large commodities. And then from there on, we can produce further intermediates. Biotechnology will play an even more prominent role going forward into the future. However, we should not fool ourselves in believing that there's only one solution for the plethora of problems we are actually having. But therefore, it is absolutely essential that we are open for new technologies, for even disruptive technologies like biotech, and accept a portfolio mix of these technologies, a co-creation of these technologies, and also a coexistence. BASF. We create chemistry.